What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2 in Kappa Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So, last episode, we kind of built out this area here, and we started putting some things. We started moving. We got our QED set up. We moved all of our, most of our stuff anyway over here. And uh, off camera, I have moved our grassy area <laughs> over here, our Britannia stuff, our Agricraft stuff, and I have removed that other little platform island thing like I said I was going to do. So, this is now our whole main area uh so since this is the only grass spot and we are in a deep ocean the only thing that wants to spawn here are these move fluid cows so we are getting a lot of them which is cool because when we need seared stone we have cows available for that <laughs> uh we have collected pretty much not every single one but pretty much every single cow like for instance molten gold there i don't know let's take a look gold i don't know how much gold we have collected we have a pair so once we get two of them we don't need a third one <laughs> we can always breed for more um so yeah what are you oxygen nitrogen are you good i don't know is this like anti-venom this is emerald that might be useful i did see we had another lpg cow i think it might be this one over here yeah i think we got another lpg cow to spawn which means we can start upgrading our power hi <laughs> Yeah, more LPG cows means we can ranch more at a time, which means more fluid, which means more generators and more power. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, the only problem with moving the grassy patch over here is we are now getting cows all over the place. I'm probably going to have to like end up fencing this off or something. So if these guys do spawn, they're more contained. Sewage. Ew. Uh, so things that I want to work on today. Our inventory situation is uh not very good <laughs> we've been still using the same four main chests well i guess seven if you count these over here with like our blocks and stuff in there we've been using these same seven chests pretty much for all of our storage and while it works it's not that great we can do better than that so i would like to look at upgrading to the ender io inventory panel mm -hmm. so this is an item that i've used a few times now let's take a look at it inventory panel it's almost like digital storage, but it's not. <laughs> it's almost got the same interface as like applied energistics, and you can kind of search for items and put items in there, but it's not exactly the same, but it'll get us going for now. So the inventory panel is a QED recipe, requires four of these vibrant alloy gears, which is energetic alloy gears wrapped around with vibrant alloy. And so we need iron gears with the energetic alloy. Yep, that's not so bad. We'll have to make some of this vibrant alloy. We have plenty of the ender pearls required to make that stuff from our mob farm. And then the energetic alloy, I think we had a little bit of that made. So we got 24 of those. I don't know if that's enough. We'll probably end up having to make more. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So we'll have to make this inventory panel thing. We'll need uh, this remote awareness upgrade so we the inventory panel can't see stuff. These cows, seriously. Seriously. Cows? Salt? You're done. Nitrogen? You're done. I don't even know what you are. Oh, you're emerald. You might not be done. Let's take a look. Oh, do we need <laughs> emerald? These cows, seriously. Nope, we're we're good on emerald. You're done. Hmm. Okay, so that's taken care of. <laughs> so in order to see things, like I said, we need the remote awareness upgrade. This has to be attached to any item conduit that's attached to an inventory. So if we wanted to see the stuff that was in here, we would need a conduit, item conduit, with the remote awareness upgrade on there. But I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to get rid of the chests. Down below here, I have added in a drawer controller. And then I have made, I don't even know. I think this was two stacks of drawers. Yeah, thanks to that sacred rubber tree that we cut down previously, I was able to take a lot of that stuff and make all of these. So 14 stacks of wood turns into one stack of these storage drawers. And I think two stacks of these drawers should get us going. At least that's the plan. That's what I'm hoping. So we have uh, the door controller right under there, right? So all we got to do is get a conduit attached to this thing with the remote awareness upgrade, bring it up to probably about where this crafting table level is, and then slap the panel on there. Now, the panel also requires nutrient distillation. And I do believe... I haven't looked, but I do believe we've got a nutrient distillation cow at some point. Yes, we've gotten only one. Which is fine. We don't go through that stuff very quickly with the panel, but we go through it fast enough that we're going to need probably a few buckets worth. So, 
Uh, the first things first, we're going to go ahead and start making the inventory panel. So I am going to get all this stuff prepared. I need to make uh, four of those iron gears and then wrap them with the stuff and all this stuff. Uh, we're going to need a sentient ender, which means we're going to need a soul binder. This is another ender IO machine I don't think we've made yet. It does require 10 levels of experience and 100,000 RF. I think we can handle that. Uh, we do need a witch. Now, previously, I have collected some soul vials. These guys have been sitting in this for quite some time. I got a witch out of our original mob farm, and then I got a couple of zombie villagers. That's what these guys are, I do believe. Should we need to have zombie villagers? But, uh, like I said, we have the... Where'd that bottle go? <laughs> we have the last villager in the last millennium, so we'll be able to spawn in villagers that way. So I don't think we're going to need to cure the villagers, or right, the zombie villagers, but we have them just in case for later but this witch yeah we're definitely gonna need that with the soul binder so anyway let me go and get some crafting done and we'll be right back all right guys well i moved our ender io machines over here a little bit i hooked up the solar panels yep and then i also hooked that up to our main power that we had running back behind the storage drawers down below so these things can be running all the time we ran out of dark steel so i'm cooking up a lot of that stuff now i'm in the process of making the soul binder and that requires four mobs gold now I don't think it re I don't think it matters what kind of mob skulls. It looks like they're all switching between. So I'm just gonna use some pigment skulls because I don't think those are used for anything useful at any point. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we got two of these pressurized fluid tanks that required a lot of dark steel. So we got that done. We'll put the pigment heads in there, and there we go, soul binder. So yeah, our QED is working quite quickly. I like that. Uh, looks like we did have a quest for that soul binder, which is awesome. So we'll go ahead and claim that here in a second. Uh, I need to get myself one of the octatic. Do we have an octatic? No. So what is it? Two double layer glowstone, a glowstone block. I should probably grab one from down below that we're already converting into the blocks, but that's fine. We'll do that. Glowstone block. And then I think it is two vibrant alloy. We want the soul binder to go fast. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get that hooked up right now. We'll make an octatic. So that is the glowstone, two of these. No, the other way. This way and this way. I don't know if it matters actually if it which way they go. And two of the double layers. There we go. Octatic. Perfect. Okay. So now we have the soul binder. We have the octatic. So it should go about as fast as it can possibly go. We'll just put that right there for now. And that goes in there. Cool. All right. So we have the ender resonator. And then we need to get that witch soul vial. And that is in this chest. Witch. Found it. Cool. And that goes in here. should be really fast. Yeah, it was like almost instant, right? Cool. So sentient ender. So uh, we can get rid of that. Uh, I made seared windows for our smeltery. You guys didn't see I moved the smeltery yet again. <laughs> Let's take a look. So yeah, I centered it in this area here, our smeltery. And then I added in our coke oven and our blast furnace into the ground. So they're not taking up space, but we have access to them, right? Uh, I was going to put them above ground, and then I realized, you know, it feels kind of cramped over here a little bit. So, yeah, I just put them into the ground for now. Uh, so, anyway, I kept seeing that we got skeletons in here, and just a minute ago, we had a creeper inside the smell tree. So, I added in these seared windows back behind, and I put torches next to them. Uh, so, that lets light in. That makes it so it's not spawnable in there. Yeah, we won't get any more mobs spawning in there, so that won't be a problem. All right, so... I think we should have everything ready to go at this point. We have the remote awareness upgrade. We have all this nutrient distillation bucket. Yes, I think we should be good. Let's go ahead and make ourselves uh, the inventory panel. So it's these four things plus nutrient distillation plus sentient ender. That goes up one. One of these remote awareness upgrades. And then finally two of these crystals. Yeah, we need a lot of vibrant uh alloy to make those crystals it's eight of those around one of those player core things which is an emerald and four lapis that's not expensive but it's just like all of the vibrant alloy that we need uh so we got those going so now we have our inventory panel we are pretty close to having things going here let's go ahead and tear this down for the time being uh so we need to get ourselves some item conduit we will do this we will set this thing to be uh, in out and extract always active. actually I'm not sure if we need to set it to extract I think we're gonna do that just set it in out and then we'll put the remote awareness upgrade in here we'll bring this up two levels 
We're going to disable these. I don't want them touching the chest. I just want it up at my face level so it's easy for us to walk up to this thing and have access to our stuff. Okay, so there's that, that, and then we'll put this guy right here. Now, we do need to set this to be uh, in, out, and then always active. And I will want to put some conduit upgrades in here as well. So we'll look at making some of those. I don't think we had any extra ones. We might. Do we have any in here? Upgrade? No. Okay. So we'll have to make some conduit upgrades. So at this point, we should be pretty close to being ready to go. Uh, I don't think I have an extra free bucket. I have this one right here with the water in it. Let's make another bucket real quick. So we'll grab iron. We will grab our engineer's hammer. And we will make ourselves... Can I use this crafting grid right here? Is that a thing? Will it work? It will. Cool. We'll make ourselves another bucket and we will grab some nutrient distillation from the cow here. <laughs> Yeah, we'll probably end up collecting uh, probably a drum of the stuff just so we don't have to worry about it. So if we click that onto here, that powers this thing up. So now we have our nutrient tank. with That's the power for this thing. And then we have access to all the items that are down below, which we don't have anything down there. So let's try putting something in. How about our solarium? So we can see that's going away, and we can see that appears over here. So it seems to me like that is working correctly. So we're going to want to get ourselves... Um, the conduit upgrade what is that called is it just speed upgrade these is what we want so it's a few electrical steel we have 20. we're gonna need pistons so that means we're gonna need some of this stuff i'll probably make well we're gonna need 14 15 pistons right uh <laughs> apparently i just completed a quest for having the electrical steel on me yeah so we're gonna need uh Quite a lot of stuff here to make 15 of those. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. We'll get the upgrades going and then we'll check out putting stuff into our new storage drawer system down below. All right, guys. Well, that was a lot of ex electrical steel that I had to create. Uh, so we got 15 of these things now. So we should be able to put that in here. No. Oh, do I extract? I have to go on the extract screen. Then I can put them in there. There we go. I was like, wait, why is that not going in there? Yeah, so it's only for the extract side. So now that we got those in there, we should be able to put things in there, and they should pull out. They should go in here a stack at a time, which is awesome. Oh, yeah. So now, now we have a place to put all of our stuff. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is so good. Crafting station, crafting table, soul vials, pretty much anything that I don't want on me. We can just throw it in there. We should have, like, all of the space. Uh, Yeah, so, like, all of this stuff, let's just... Well, you know, hmm, it's probably be a good idea if I took some things that I don't want to go in there and took it off my person, <laughs> like so. Uh, probably that, we don't want that, or these. So all this other stuff, that all is good to go. So let's go ahead and put all those in the panel. Oh, you know what? I was going to space click. I don't think we can space click. Can I, like, well, I could do one of those. That's not exactly what I wanted to do. I'll just go ahead and click those all in by hand then, I guess, instead of, like, trying to do the old... Uh, hold the item and then shift double click Gonna try it. Yeah, it worked that time. It didn't drop all the items on the ground So yes, I'll be able to take all of my stuff man. We're getting all the achievements now I'll be able to take all of my stuff and just throw it in here. This is gonna be really really nice Yeah, certain things like those soul vials are gonna take up an entire storage drawer by themselves But we can add in more drawers. That's not a big deal <laughs> Okay, uh, other things like these um Blocks and stuff we might want to have a compacting drawer for them But like I've said before in the past like a lot of those things uh, They don't like you can't convert the ingots into the block So like with the block in a compacting drawer, it won't do anything, but some some things does work like glowstone. I think works uh, Redstone works. Yeah, there's a few things we could do But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all of our stuff in here It's gonna take a little bit of time clean up and we'll be right back Oh man, guys, so we got everything put into our system now. So everything we had over here, except for like what's in these caches right here is now in the system. So even things that uh, are just one item and they take up their own inventory slot. Yeah, we've kind of stuck them all in here. So we can sort by different things. I had to sort it by item quantity, but I guess that does not remember when you click off, which is unfortunate, 
Uh, so yeah, this is the default sort. This is what we're going to be looking at a lot here. So if we wanted to find something, I don't know, if we wanted to find wood, for instance, we can search for it. We can get it. It's very, very convenient. Um, I just ended up making a sound muffler because this cow over here is driving me crazy with its constant mooing. Yeah, I should probably move to the last millennium and collect a lot of its nutrient distillation. Uh, I did set up a, a drum back here that I can bucket the nutrient fluid into. We are pulling that out with the fluid conduit. It's coming up here and into the inventory panel. So yeah, it is keeping the uh, the tank full all the time. Uh, so I can place this bucket in the world using Draconic Evolution. The key is mapped to P. I had to disable uh, Ender IO's Dark Steel Armor. The Night Vision was mapped to P as, as well. I removed that so we can <laughs> place that in the world like so. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, now the thing is, I thought we had enough storage drawers down below to handle all the items we didn't. Yeah, I far, I far underestimated how much stuff we had. So you can kind of see this wall looks mostly blank. There's a spot there and there's other spots over here. I have used the concealment key on the drawer controller, which removes the rendering of the items, but it does put a little spot on the drawer to show you that that drawer has something in it, right? So we don't know what it is, but there's something in it. So I had to add in, yeah, it was two layers deep before. Now it's four layers. Yeah, so we had to have a lot of stuff, a lot of storage space for all these items. Um, I would like to upgrade to Applied Energistics as soon as we can, but that's going to be a little bit of time before we can do that. We have to get into Galactic Craft and do a lot of like uh, space exploration before we can really get into Applied Energistics. So... Yeah, we also have to get into mechanism too. I think we have to do the 5X or processing for osmium crystals. So there's a lot of things we're going to have to do before we get there. So this should tide us over until we get to that point. It's going to be very convenient for crafting things and searching things. I don't have to open up multiple chests. Just go right here, search for the item. Got it. I like it. So uh, I'd made up some Terra Steel since the last episode. Um, yeah, I have the Terra Steel here. I did make a second mana pool with a second spark on there so we can make Terra Steel twice as fast as we were doing before, which is pretty awesome. That will also allow us to craft up seven of them before we have to refill. We could do eight total, but then we'll be out of mana and the uh, the blacker lotuses won't work. We won't be able to refill the mana pool. So yeah, we can do seven, then we got to refill them up. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so we need to make more of these different things. So we're going to be getting into magical crops pretty soon, which means we need to get the stones. I don't see them on here. Oh, wait, they were there. Weren't they? Yeah, right here. Okay, so we made the weak infusion stone last time. That's Manicio to Osseo, right? But we also need to do Osseo to Crucio, Crucio to Imperio, and Imperio to the VCO. Mm -hmm. So these guys, to make this second tier... We need to take the first tier and throw it into the mana pool to get this tier. Now, the higher the tier, you can only do that specific thing. You can't craft like this one, the Manisu de Osseo with this one. So we need to like all four of these things until later on when we get the master infusion stone. And then we can, then we can infuse all the different things just with the master one. And the master one's a little expensive. It does require another star. It does require mass Zavisio block, which means... We need nine Zavisio blocks, which means we need nine Zavisio essence per block. It's a lot of stuff to make one of those. Uh, so we're also going to have to do compressed Gaia, which means we have to fight the guardian of Gaia before we'll even be able to do that. So yeah, a lot of stuff involved with making that. Uh, everything else I don't think is that crazy amount of diamonds, Dragonstone. Yeah, just a compressed guy. I think that's the hardest part aside from the mass Zavisio. Okay. So we'll be looking at that a little bit later. So what we need to do now, uh, do I have, do I have the thing? I have this. Okay. So we can just stick that underneath one of these mana pools over here. Is my magnet on? It's not. That's fine. I think I can grab those items from down below from up here with my magnet. Got them. So we can put that right there. Uh, so now we just need to make uh, three more of the first tier. Yep. And then we can make, uh, three three of these now we need to make two of these and then one of those okay so that is all the four tiers of these things that we can make at this point in time like i said we have to wait until we fight the guardian of gaia and then we can start in on the other things but these will unlock the path to magical crops which is awesome okay so besides having these stones we're gonna have to craft 
all of the different essences and it is a lot of crafting <laughs> so there we go there's all all four of these different ones i think it goes in that order no it goes in this order okay so there's all four of those things uh so for instance if we want well you know what let's not for instance let's take a look at the quest at the quest system here there's probably a magical crop it wants us to make right away right oh you know what i don't I think there is Electrotine. We have, oh, it wants us to make all these different essences, and then it wants us to make the Nether Star Seeds. These will be very, very useful towards end game. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't really want us to make anything in particular as far as these seeds go. Not like it did with the AgriCraft stuff. So we're pretty much good to go. We're on our own. We can make any of these things that we want. So for instance, if we want to do the Osseo type seeds, we can take a look at this, see what the uses are for this. Uh, so we can make air seeds Looks like there's a few different recipes for that fire seeds. Yeah, a few different recipes for that water Earth that'll be nice so we can make all the dirt that we want to in the future It'll be pretty good nature seeds. This will allow us to make things like pumpkins and lily pads I think uh, and then dye seeds so we can make any type of dye that we want to so that'll be really really nice so uh, the crucio if we want to go up to the next tier that'll allow us to make coal Glowstone, lapis, yeah, like all these different things. These all have to be crafted on the runic altar, though. This is all stuff done through Batania. So we need four of those, the Manisio seed, and then like four obsidian, and then we can make obsidian seeds. We'll have to 10, 10, 10 those, and then we can use clippers and duplicate them. But yeah, now that we're at this point, we'll be able to get resources a lot faster, and that's going to be super awesome. Uh, nether seeds, so that'll... Take care of like i think nether rack and soul sand sort of quartz seeds that's not gonna be useful for a while uh yeah i think that's probably probably all the useful things out of this one uh imperio that's gonna be where we want to go like we're gonna need redstone but if you notice to get this we need dense redstone ores yeah so you can make the dense redstone ore with pneumatic craft in the pressure chamber you need five regular ores and three bar of pressure and then you can make this thing so i guess before we start really getting in there we're gonna have to get into pneumatic craft so there's a lot of things kind of in our way which is pretty awesome in this mod pack uh so let's figure out what we're gonna do next i guess what we could do right now let's go ahead and claim the rewards uh we have these three right here that we can claim and i believe i also got another one earlier for having electrical steel or something like that on me. We'll claim these and then we'll go... Where's the other ones? There's one of these other ones, I know. Okay, we got one for... Oh, we got a few of them over here, actually. So we'll do the one for the soul binder, claim this. For the vibrant alloy, electrical steel, and finally for pulsating iron. I wonder what the next one is. What is this one? Dark steel? Have 12 dark steel on us. You know what? Can we do that one right now? Dark steel. Dark steel complete. Okay, let's claim that one. And what's the next one after that? Solarium. I think we have solarium too. Yes, we do. And there we go. Cool. All right, so we got all of these different things done. <laughs> let's start opening up some of these. I'm so interested in getting some good stuff out of here. I don't know if we're going to get anything good. We haven't really got anything good yet. Uh, so there's our chemical coin. Let's turn on auto refill. All right. Floor for sewage. I guess the auto refill doesn't work. Okay. We got some ME stuff. That'll be useful later when we get into applied energistics, uh, flux infused hammer. Not that useful mana lens. Okay. That's good. That'll help us out with some bit Tanya stuff, velocity and efficiency. Yep. I like that. Uh, quarter heart. A basic bin. Essence bricks. All right. More of the essence bricks. Is that it? Oh, that's everything. Okay. Well, not super great stuff, but you know, it's decent. None of that stuff was like really terrible. Anyway, let me go ahead and figure out what we're going to do next. And we'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, I figure since we already did a little bit of magical crop stuff, we should go ahead and look at making some of these seeds. So, like I said, it has to be done on the runic altar. So we have a mana pool here with a mana spreader pointing into our runic altar. So, yeah, we can start making some of these first tier seeds. So dye seeds. It looks like you just need to put four dye on there. You have to put a Manisio seed and then four of the Osseo essence. 
Yeah, it doesn't really matter what color of the die that you use. That's all you had to do. And then, yeah, living rock and uh, I need my wand, wherever that is. Is it in here? Found it. Okay, so wand. Cool. So there's our die seeds. Those are pretty easy to do. Uh, we got a lot more other ones to do. So we can do like fire seeds right here for those. And then a Manicio seed. Yeah. So we're going to do the fire, air, water, earth. Uh, we're going to do nature seeds as well. Those will be very useful, like I said previously. Make one of those. All right, so nature seeds. I think it's just for wheat. You can do whatever you want, but I think wheat is one of the options. So that, and then one, two, three, four. Cool. Yeah, this is all pretty simple things. Uh, what's going to make it difficult is trying to 10, 10, 10 these things. <laughs> uh, so we might look at doing the automated way. Uh, I, I have not tried the Ender IO... Um, Agricraft farming station. I do want to check that out at some point. So we might start working towards that next time. I'm not sure. And then four buckets of water. All right. One of those. One of those. So what have we got so far? Water seeds, nature seeds, dye seeds. We have fire seeds. Uh, oh, we have air seeds, I think, with the bottles. That might be our last. Oh, no, we got the dirt seeds we still have to do. Okay. Place that right there. Do that. Okay, there's the air seeds. And then dirt seeds. Four dirt, a manicio, and then four of these. Cool. So yeah, making the seeds pretty fast. That's all you gotta do. That's that's pretty simple. The hard part, like I said, is to duplicate these and breed them up to the 10, 10, 10 stages. That's where a lot of the time is going to come into play. But yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. So we also did complete a quest here just a second ago. Uh, for getting the Osseo stuff. So having a full stack of that, and that's going to give us a chance cube plus a loot chest. Let's do the top one. All right. Are we going to get something good? Hopefully. Oh, you know what? That's not bad. Red, red alloy ingot and the electro team ingot. That says plain, but you know what? At this point in the game, I will take them. They're just kind of a pain to make. You need a lot of redstone. Then you got to cook it. Redstone really isn't an issue. We have a lot of our resources uh, automatically being generated over here, right? Let's see, how many redstone blocks are we up to at this point? We are up to, oh, wow, 2,230. So, yeah, we got redstone under control. Diamonds are up to 152 blocks and 1,420 emeralds. We have a lot more emeralds than we should right now uh, because I've opened up some of the artifact armor stuff, the ones that say throw on the ground for converting into emeralds. Yeah, I've been looking for some of those good ones, but I haven't really gone through too many. But yeah, we did get a few stacks of emeralds from that. But yeah, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here for today. Uh, got a lot of cool things going on now. We finally got ourselves a searchable storage system, which is fantastic. That's going to make my life so much easier for doing all the crafting and all that sort of stuff. Uh, very happy about that. Uh, like I said, we'll probably be looking at the AgriCraft farming station. I don't know if we can do this yet or not, but we'll look at it probably next time and see if we can start automating getting our seeds up to the 10, 10, 10 stage. But yep, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.